Hello friends, it's Rochelle Van Rysen. Um, the other night I was supposed to be writing and I got tired and I decided to go to sleep, but um, <laughs> God likes to wake me up in the middle of the night with, with messages for me. And I was thinking about the word love and how we use it so loosely today. We use it to uh, say we we just love shopping or we just, you know, love a chocolate bar. I mean, we do. Some of us really like that chocolate bar. But God had a different, has a different meaning for what love is. And somehow along the way, we've lost the true meaning of love. Um, I went on Wikipedia to, to read what our definition, the worldly definition of love is. And I'm just going to read that to you first. It says, love encompasses a range of strong and positive emotional and mental states from the most sublime virtual or good habit, the deepest interpersonal affection to the simplest pleasure. An example of this range of meaning is that the love of a mother differs from the love of a spouse spouse, which differs from the love of food. Most commonly, love refers to a feeling of strong, strong attraction and emotional attachment. Love is considered to be both positive and negative, with its virtue representing human kindness, compassion, and affection, as the unselfish, unselfish loyal, and benevolent concern for the good of another and it's vice representing human moral flaw akin to vanity, selfishness, and egotism. Now, that's where it's just completely gone off track. That's not what God's definition of love is for us. Um, God's very clear that, that, you know, love is not selfish. So it can't possibly be an egotistic thing. Uh, and God also tells us that he is love. So to truly understand what love is, we learn more about the characteristics of our Father in heaven. So I looked up some verses for us. Uh, 1 John 4, 8 says, He that loveth not, knoweth not God. So if you've never truly loved, you don't know God. But if you have truly loved, then you do know God. Uh, 1 John 4, 16, And when we have known and believed the, the love that God has for us, God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwells in God and in God and God in him. And then it says, we love him because he first loved us. He has given us the template for love. Love doesn't, isn't something that we even learn from. It's not a learned thing. It's a, it's something that indwells, it's, it's built in because God created us. We are created in love. It's natural for us to need, to want to reconnect to the love of God, because God is love. And I pictured Christ, Jesus, when he was, he was on the cross, he was nailed to the cross, and he had um, thieves and murder right next to him on the cross with him. And because Jesus is God personified. He couldn't help it. Even in his pain, he still was showing love. He was there and he was taking on the pain of the world, the sins of the world. And he still was concerned about the man next to him. And he was actually concerned about both, but only one received him that day because we do have a choice God came to us in the personhood of Jesus 
so that none, no one would perish. God doesn't send us to hell because God is love. We put ourselves in hell. When we turn our back on God, we face darkness. When we walk away from God, we walk into darkness. We walk away from true love. We walk away from the light. It is only when we face the light and we walk into the light of God that we can feel it and that we can know it and we can be it. Today I ask that if you're going through any kind of pain and if you're feeling unloved and alone and many of us are, are you know, many people today are with this COVID um, are finding themselves alone and perhaps set apart from other people and, you know, in, in homes, in, um, they're not, they can't see the people that they love. They, they're, they're ripped apart from their usual connections. But I want to tell you that love goes so much deeper than this physical connection. Our love is through God. So you are not alone. Reconnect with the Father. Ask Jesus into your lives. I want you to take a moment and, and really think about the fact that, that even in his pain, he was loving you and he was loving me. I want you to think about the, mo the thought that no matter what you're going through, and no matter how alone you feel, you are not alone and you are loved. Now I'm going to say a prayer with you. Please, Lord Jesus, I want you to wrap your arms around the lonely today. Lift up the, the people who are sick. Lord, heal those who are in pain. And those who are walking away from you, Lord, Call out to them and let them hear you. Lord, I ask that, that if anyone's hearing this prayer today, that they will face you and know that you aren't sending anyone away, that you forgive all sin. It is not just covered. It has been taken away by the death and your resurrection. And because you live, we will live for eternity with you. I ask that, that the people watching this, if they have not accepted you, Lord Jesus, that, that they do that now, that they ask you to please come into their hearts and, and that you will lead them and that their lives will change and, and become the lives that you wanted them to have. Lord, I ask that you will send the Holy Spirit on all of those who are in need today and let them feel your love. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, you guys, God bless. I love you. Reach out anytime. You can inbox me. I will pray with you. I'm here for you. God bless. Amen. <laughs>